I'm Dave Kirloff with the Kirloff Baseball School in Anna, Texas, and languageofhitting.com. I'm going to talk about three common hitting mistakes players make, and I'm going to talk about the drills to help correct these mistakes. Mistake number one, reaching for the ball, lunging for the ball. Mistake number two, choppy ground balls. Mistake number three, popping up. You know, I've been researching hitting for a very long time. This has been my career for the last 30 years, and before that I was a player. Reaching for the ball was probably my biggest hitting mistake. When a parent tells me it doesn't matter how fast that pitcher's throwing, my son or my daughter is always ahead of it. While they're explaining this to me, I'm just shaking my head up and down, and I'm thinking, I know exactly what you're talking about, because that was me. That's what I experienced. Most of the time, you hear the coach yell out to the player, hey, you gotta stay back, use your backside. Or sometimes the coach would give the, the player, hey, don't move your head, don't lunge forward, you gotta keep your head in the same place. You know, with over 30 years as being a hitting instructor, I have heard all of those tips and ideas to try and those theories. I practice them myself. I told other players to practice them and use them. It's funny, they work for a while, but all of a sudden you find yourself, hey, well, I'm not lunging forward anymore. Why am I not hitting good? Choppy ground balls. This is a big one. Well, how do you fix this one? The coach may tell the player, well, you know what's going on? is your upper half is moving faster than your bottom half and you're flying open. Or the coach may say, listen, you're turning your hips too fast, too much. You're over swinging. Another reason the coach may tell you is that you're casting your bat. You're getting your hands too far out away from the body. Or the coach will say, you're barring your lead arm, your front arm, you're getting a stiff arm when you're coming down to make your swing. Or the coach can tell you, well, you know what, it's your feet. You're not stepping toward a pitcher, you're stepping out. Hitting mistake number three, popping up. Similar to the last reasons I gave you, a coach may tell you this is why you're popping up. Your front side, your shoulders are opening up too soon. Or your hips are opening too soon. Or maybe your foot is stepping out of place. It's not stepping towards the pitcher. Or maybe you're getting your hands to cast out away from the body or maybe you're borrowing your lead arm. The other ones for popping up, the coach may tell you, well, you're collapsing your backside, your barrel is going underneath your hands, your attack angle is too sharp or too steep. You hear things like this. Let me tell you, with over 30 years of experience and being in many research centers, followed by watching many baseball games, when you go into the batting cage, or what I call the research center, or the laboratory, and you work on a batting tee, or you work on underhand soft toss, or the coach, is standing maybe 20, 25 feet away from you, and he's throwing this soft serve style batting practice. Under those circumstances, and under those conditions, you may find some success. And then you move on to the game, and then you're feeling really good. One game you may go three for four, next game two for four, then you may go three for four again, but then it happens. You hit another rut, you hit another slump. You go right back to reaching out for the balls and lunging, you go right back to hitting choppy ground balls, or you go right back into hitting pop-ups. What just happened? I had it, and then it faded away. Let me give you the solutions, let me give you the answers, let me give you the drills you need to learn. And the sooner you learn them, the better. The answers and solutions you're really looking for are not in the biomechanics. Are biomechanics important? Most definitely. But when it comes to the real motor that's driving your hitting, it's not your biomechanics. It's your brain. And the true answers and solutions you're looking for are found in the realms of hitting neuroscience. Let's go. Let me talk about depth. When you have a player who is four, five, or six years old, and you're first trying to teach them about hitting, most of the time you see the dad or the mom, whoever it is, tossing a ball to the player to hit. They're only like maybe five or six, seven, eight feet away. Why is that? It's because if you move 25, 30, 35 feet away, that player now has to accommodate for a larger amount of space between you two. And this larger amount of space requires more thinking. For most of my life, I lived in Western Pennsylvania. And back in the 80s in Western Pennsylvania, it was hard to find a place to take batting practice in the off season. Sure, you can help your batting tee all you want to, but it's not like seeing a live ball being pitched. I can still remember 
the high school baseball practices inside the gym. Our coach was pretty creative. Even without batting cages, our coach used to get these leather, rubber, cloth baseballs. We'd practice our hitting inside the gym with no batting cage. The balls would just go all over the gymnasium. I can still remember to this day, not having taken batting practice for like five months and going to step in on a live pitcher. It was awkward. It was awkward because my depth perception was off. It was distorted. I had a hard time regulating the space the ball was passing through. The next validating point that affirms the value of depth is this. When I played, and I was a good hitter, thank the Lord, but when I hit and I would strike out on a curveball or a slider and I would swing and miss, when I walked back to the dugout, I knew I didn't have bad swing mechanics. The pitcher just fooled me. He deceived me. I couldn't respond fast enough. I couldn't think fast enough to reason, this isn't a fastball, this is a curveball, it's going slower. And I could not reason quick enough that it's gonna go into this space over there slower. I'd sit in a dugout thinking, hey, it wasn't my swing that was a problem, it was my brain. I couldn't figure out how to react to this slow pitch instantly. So now this brings us to solving the problem. Why are you reaching for the ball or lunging? It's because your eyes are late. Why are you chopping the ball into the dirt? It's because you have desperation. You're in a panic mode. What's the real problem with popping up? Well, there could be several reasons. Number one, your eyes are late again. And now you're in desperation mode. Your front shoulder will fly open. You'll turn your hips early, you'll collapse your backside, you will do anything it takes to get the bat down into the zone because the body knows, the brain knows you're late. Or sometimes you hit pop-ups is because you're too excited and you're trying to smash the ball as hard as you can and your brain and your eyes just got disconnected with the flight path. This is how you fix these hitting problems. Number one, start taking more hitting drills where you create more depth, that you are further away from the pitcher. As a hitter, I need to understand the where and the when. Where will the ball be when I see it, and when does it get there? We put this all in a package, and the package that you're gonna hold is called timing your vision. Timing your vision is the answer from stop reaching or getting jumpy in the front side. It's the answer for stop hitting choppy ground balls. It's the answer for stop popping up. So how does a hitter time his vision? Well, it's a very delicate and specific pattern. These patterns are multifaceted. It's not a one size fits all pattern. One of the worst things to do is copy a pattern that really isn't the way you're wired to do it. And this is where I come in. On our website, linemojihitting.com, I have the 6.0 best hitting drill ever online hitting course. Video number 6.6 .6 is exactly where you want to go to. I even have that video marked as the most important video in the video course. It's on that video I specifically teach you how to time your vision and how to get your eye in position to see the ball early in the flight path. It's a real technique and it's a real pattern. The longer you put it off, the more you're gonna delay your development. Another option to consider is to come visit our indoor training facility located in Anna, Texas. Come work with me face to face. Or if you get the 6.0 online hitting course, you could pay a little bit extra and I'll come visit you in your hometown.